Royal Challengers Bangalore defeated Delhi Daredevils by 21 runs at the Firo Shakotla Stadium. Chasing a target of 216 runs to win, Daredevils could muster only 194 for 9 in their allotted 20 overs. Chris Gale smashed an unbeaten 128 to help Royal Challengers Bangalore post a mammoth 215 for 1 against the Daredevils. Tilakaratni Dilshan began well but couldn't motor on. Varun Aaron striking the first blow, Dilshan gone for 10. But that was just about all the success the Daredevils tasted as Chris Gale and Virat Kohli came together for their third century plus stand. Gale and Virat took Bangalore past the 100 run mark in the 13th over and that's when the Caribbean giant shifted to destruction mode. This his 50th 6 of IPL 5. Delhi was hit by a Gale storm and no bowler was spared. Gale bringing up his first century of IPL 5 and becoming the first man to score three IPL centuries. Kohli stayed unbeaten on 73 but the man of the moment was Christopher Gale. An unbeaten 128 of 62 balls with 7 4s and 13 6s. The two 204 run partnership taking Bangalore to the highest team total this IPL, a mammoth 215 for one. Sehwag was down with fever, which meant David Warner had to do all the early damage. But Zaheer Khan made sure Warner didn't go past 15. And now Warner has to as well. He's gone. Local boy Unmuk Chand had replaced Sehwag in the playing 11, and this is why he was picked. But he too couldn't make the most of a good start. Gone for 18 and Delhi down to 45 for 2. Mahela Jaiwardhane had to play a key role for Delhi but when he fell for 9, the home team knew they were in trouble. Menugopal Rao can hit the big shots and the Daredevils needed someone like him at the crease. Ross Taylor has been in woeful form through IPL 5 but this is why the Daredevils show faith in him. Delhi 96 for 3 after the first 10 overs. Venu Gopal fell for 36 and Taylor then took it upon himself to try and get the table toppers as close to the target as possible. Naman Ojha fell for 13 but the one that hurt Delhi the most was Taylor falling for 55 with Delhi still needing 57 from 22 balls. The equation boiled down to 51 needed of the last 18 balls and despite some big hits by Andre Russell, Delhi couldn't get there. Bangalore staying alive with a 21 run win. Well, the Gale storm clearly visible even this morning. Uh, over to yesterday's first match and Chennai batted first and scored just 120 runs, which was never going to be enough, of course, for his men versus Punjab, who have come into super form of late. Well, Chennai's loss last night means that the defending champions face elimination from IPL 5. Adam Gilchrist came back for this match and the Punjab skipper began in trademark style. At the other end, Mandeep Singh gave Gilly good company, the opening pair taking Kings 11 past 15 the 7th over. It was Albi Mokal who gave Chennai the first breakthrough. Mandeep gone for 24. Chennai needed quick wickets and Bravo gave them the second one. Nitin Saini gone for just one, Punjab down to 55 for 2. The third Punjab wicket fell with 69 runs on the board. David Hussey falling for 9 to Bravo. But Gilly was on fire and determined to finish things off. And the target of 121 was never really going to be too difficult on this pitch. Gilchrist unbeaten 46 ball 64, taking Punjab to a comfortable six-wicket win and virtually knocking Chennai out of the competition.